Hey there guys, it's Joey and this is a requested animal totem set from Miss Purr. It is the Dragonfly Totem. This is a herbal blend you can see and we'll talk about each thing in a minute but I wanted something in shot while I just discuss concepts and emotions behind this. So Miss Purr shared with me what the totem animal meant to her and I've had a very strong emotional connection to this whole set. It's been very moving for me and I've had a lot of dragonfly imagery be popping up here, there and everywhere and it had a very unusual vibe. I centred in on the energies of strength of spirit, survival, change, transformation and metamorphosis. There's a fragile beauty but an incredible strength behind the energy of the dragonfly. There was something almost aztec -y or Native American about the colour schemes. I had these very clear visions of almost blocks of colour of, of um, blue and gold and black and it ended up colouring the whole the whole thing. It was um, very unusual for me for it to come that way, for the colours to come first rather than the energies. The Native American meanings behind Dragonfly are happiness, speed and purity and one of the interesting things I read about was power, victory, Agility and honour were uh, samurai meanings attached to dragonfly symbolism, which was really lovely and interesting. So then, this is the herbal blend, and as you can see, it is currently being imbued with my ameth uh, amethyst, my obsidian, and this is how it looks. So there are herbs and resins in here and it exudes energies that we have discussed and it, all the way through this there's a very interesting sort of duality, there's this sort of air, intellect, the spoken word, the vocalization, the verbalization element of it. There's also a the survivor element, the 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 almost warrior-esque but not quite um, survival and pushing forward and and that strength of spirit that I mentioned and the metamorphosis side of things. So this herbal blend can be used as an incense burnt on a charcoal disc as usual. It has resins in here for that effect. There's a cleansing base underneath. So the first layer of say herbs and resins and things were to do with cleansing your space, cleansing yourself and allowing for positive change to manifest within your life. There is also with the dragon fly totem uh, the realm of emotions as well as spirits in nature such as the fae and you could definitely use these for that there's you know there's flowers in here and things and there is a, a slightly emotional edge in here as well that you could if you wished utilize it for that for the changing of emotional state or for the connection of fae um, but the primal, if you like, energies are the strength, spirit, survival, change, transformation, metamorphosis. So that's the herbal blend. Looking all pretty. Let's give the oil a shake. beautiful. Similar energies in this one again. 
uh, there, I'm trying to, how's that best? Yeah, that's probably best, isn't it? There's an undertow of uh, a sort of courage element to the whole thing as well. So if you were seeking to feel more courageous in certain situations, you could definitely utilise the the courage for change, the courage of will, the courage to transform and become all that you're meant to be. So there's definitely that element in there. Beautiful. As well as the fey element again, you could quite happily utilise the fey element. Okay, which two? Let's show the orb next. So this is the orb. Okay, so we have the black ribbon. The little bow here is this sort of glittery, iridescent um, little ribbon tafta, maybe? I'm not sure. But um, it's supposed to represent the delicateness of the dragonfly wing because a lot of this doesn't actually encapsulate those beautiful wings. And I wanted something in there that did that. And that is also the reason for having these skeletal leaves in here. They are colour coordinated to the rest of the set but they are almost like like the wings of the dragonfly. And then we have crystals in there, herbs in there, and there are three of one type of crystal that I've utilised for this set and three of another and they're all to do with transformation, they do to do with strength of spirit, of coming into your own, of finding yourself. Now I wanted to show this as well, the charm is a sword for three reasons and the three reasons sort of have different layers of importance to me. The first one which doesn't isn't as important to me is that uh, the dragonfly is in the realm of air, it's a flying insect and to me the sword is to do with the realm of the intellect. That changes across in, in some, I think it's the southern hemisphere, it may be that uh, ones are associated with air, but here anyway I associate them with the realm of the intellect and you know that being the realm of air. So that's one. Um, symbolism wise there is a symbol which looks very much like a sword of the of what the dragonfly actually is and there it is and it's it's quite a lot like the sword symbolism and I mentioned the sword symbolism earlier with the samurai and them honouring the dragonfly symbolism. And lastly, and the one that I really resonated with, is the, being sort of the symbol of the survivor, of someone who's had to come through a difficult life, of having to fight for everything, of having to overcome, of having to survive, and having to find the inner strength to battle through and wield themselves and wield their will, their energy, their intent like a weapon just to survive, just to get through some difficult times in life and that came through very much with the energies in here so I just wanted to show you that again because I love how they sit like that, like wings am I great? it's beautiful, right and so last but not least is the spell cauldron and I've explained the imagery already with the sword, and there's a sword on here with the little wings again. Little ribbon wings. And then the light blue. Um, the blue, the black and the gold, like I mentioned, were very, very, very definite right from the beginning. And I can't, uh, and it works within if you look at certain dragonflies. Um, so in that imagery it works really well, but there was something definitely about these colours and I'm going to actually talk a little bit about 
them in a second. I'm just going to show you the very top and you can see it's a big crystal. Hello, crystal. Um, that almost looks like an eye of the dragonfly. There you go. Key. The key herbs and, and resins and things and the, the wax is actually black but it actually looks a little bit more like a very, very, very dark blue, like an almost night time. You know how before it's it's fully night time and it's not quite night time and it's really, really dark blue and not quite black yet. It also has a little bit night sky edge going. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorting out an oven. Right, okay. So, f the last point I did actually want to discuss was the actual colours that came to me to be so strong. <coughs> the herbs that actually I knew I wanted in there were those colours as well. So, blue, black and gold. So, blue you have healing. The realm of the emotions, which is an underlying theme in the whole set. Let's have the whole set. Um, which is an underlying theme in the whole set. Because you cannot have change, you cannot have survival, you cannot have all of that without the emotional base on which to springboard from. The strength of will comes from an emotional root. And healing will take place as part of personal transformation, obviously. And then you have your yellowy gold colours, and that is something, something regal, something powerful, something it's somewhere in there with the samurai, with that glittering sword, with that shimmer of, of prowess that comes with something rare, something unique, that ability to keep going, that survival, that blade, that courage element. And the black element, of course, is in the obsidian for the metamorphosis element definitely as well as reflecting away all negativity that stops you from engaging in these energies in the way that you need to so i think that's everything i hope you like it um the herbal blend is in a bag and the bowl and the obsidian are not included because they're my working tools but everything else that you see is so there we go. Many blessings.